Hey, this is Al McGee. I'm with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Kong Skull Island. Well, you know, this is a story about King Kong and the place where he lives and dwells. And let me just tell you one point about this movie that I liked. And I'll give you an ex uh, explanation why I like it. The earlier King Kong movies that I observed, well, I liked them when they were on Kong Island, or the island, I don't know what they call it then, maybe it's still Kong Island. But when they went to New York, that's when I didn't like it. First of all, I knew it was gonna be the demise of King Kong, and then I got, you know, I got a little angry. Who gave them the right to capture this uh, magnificent creature and take it out of his own homeland. Well, kind of, I think that's what the story is about, a story about me. But anyway, because on Kong Island, that's where all the action was at, and that's where all the creatures were at, and that's what I like. And that's why I like Kong Skull Island, because I like the creatures, the fights, the monsters. This is really a monster-driven movie. Of course, they got some actors in this, they they gotta have it. Well, maybe not. If they wrote a different script, they didn't have to. But anyway, the actors in here is Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman, Bree Larson, John C. Riley, Jean Tang, uh, Toby Cabell, John Ortiz, Corey Hawkins, and Jason Mitchell. They're in this film. Now, this takes place in 1973. Now, um... Bill Randall, which is played by John Goodman, well, he's a guy, he works for this program where he goes looking for conspiracy theorists and looking for, like, what's, what, what's the Bermuda Triangle and, and monsters. Now, this is set in 1973. One thing I like about this, it showed the actual dial telephone. It also showed real the real tapes. And also it shows where, you know, when they did videotape, videotaping, uh, you know, uh, things and it shows how elaborate that process was. And also there was some great dialogue in this film. I don't care what anyone says. For example, here, here's one that uh, Bill Randa said. And remember, it's 1973. This is when the war was winding down. And this is when Watergate was heating up. And uh, Bill said this, word for word, quote, mark my words, there'll never be a more screwed up time in Washington. <laughs> quote, man, I just burst out laughing. You know why? Because, you know, that's the thing about today in Washington with Trump in the office. It's maybe that's what they were talking about. I don't know. But that was one of the funniest lines in the movie. Anyway, uh, to get to the story real quick, well, Bill, them, they, they satellite, they saw the island through the satellite, so they had to pick a team, and they picked uh, Lieutenant Colonel Preston Packard, uh, Samuel Jackson, he was just over there in Vietnam, uh, and, you know, they got to pack up, and he was saying, what a waste to be here in Vietnam. Everything, these people died for nothing. He was pissed off about that. So then he went and hired uh, James Conrad, uh, played by Tom Hiddleston. Uh, he's a British mercenary tracker. And then for some reason, I don't know why they hired uh, uh, Mason Weaver, which is played by Brie Lawson. She's a photographer, but she's an anti-war photographer. Why they hired her, I don't know, but I guess they needed the female version in here. Now the director, Jordan Vogt Roberts, I think he did a great job because I think he was like me. He liked Skull Island more so than a New York thing and things like that. I really enjoyed that that much. I thought he did a great job. And also, John C. Riley shows up as Hank Marlowe. Now, he's a World War II uh, soldier. 
he was living with the natives. Remember, the natives was there worshiping Kong. Kong was their god. Kong actually protected them. And he was there with the natives. And, you know, and he talked about some things that interested me because he was from Chicago, like the Chicago Cubs. Uh, he misses uh, hot dogs and beer. Man, I really enjoyed that part of him being in this film. Again, like I said, it's action packed with monsters and with creatures on the island. And I will admit, this is the first time I've seen Kung actually eat, eat a meal. He ate a giant octopus. Hey, sushi anyone? <laughs> now, I know why Samuel Jackson has always been in many movies. His acting is some of the best. In this film, as the commander in charge, he really did a lot of communication non-verbally with his eyes and his expressions and then with his vocal realization of his character. Oh man, he was really good in this film. I really enjoyed it. This is one of the best movies of, of this type of genre. I really enjoyed it. You will too. Go see it. And I'm giving this three palm trees out of four. Three palm trees out of four for Kong Skull Island. You really enjoy it. And when you see King Kong, you're going to say, hey, that's my cousin. Well, I'm not your cousin. I'm Al McGee with here at Your Entertainment Ticket at www.yeticket.com. Thank you for watching me, and I really appreciate it. This is your answer.